You're in your fifth year of pursuing your dream. The first couple of years were exciting and it seemed like you were making progress every single day. However, as the years went on, your progress began to slow down. And now you're at the point where you don't even think you're making any progress. So you're doubting yourself. You're questioning whether you should keep going or quit. And trust me, I know exactly how you feel because I feel like quitting almost every other week. And the truth is I'm there right now. I've been here so many times that it actually forced me to learn some things to get over this feeling. So today I wanna to share some of these tips and tricks with you so that you can keep going. So these tactics are actually from a book called The Dip by Seth Godin. And the funny thing is, I didn't read this book till a couple days ago. So I was actually following these tactics without even knowing it. However, I'm glad I found this book because now I have the words to describe what's actually happening. For example, The Dip. Here's where you started and here's where you want to be. When you first started, everything was going well. You were really excited about it, so the reward was high. You're gaining experience, knowledge, and attention. However, as time goes on, that same effort isn't bringing in as much rewards as it did before. So you feel stuck. And that's because you've hit a dip. The dip is the period where progress slows down, your excitement dies, and the effort required keeps increasing. This is the tough part that many people face on their journey to achieving their dreams and the point where most people quit. And if you're watching this video, you're probably at this point right now, but I don't want you to quit. So here are some tactics you can use to embrace the dip. However, while the dip sucks, it's necessary. It's there for a reason. And that reason is to make average people quit. I mean, without dips, we wouldn't have these extraordinary people because the people who make it out of these dips are some of the best in the world. So you gotta be honest with yourself. Do you have what it takes to be the best in the world in your genre, category, niche, etc.? Because if you don't have what it takes, Seth Godin recommends that you should quit now before you waste any more time and go out there and find something that you can be the best in the world at. And that's what I did. I quit. When I first started my creative journey in 2018, I was a music producer. But as the years went on, I realized I didn't have the drive to be the best at music production. So I quit in 2021. And the good thing was I found something that I was better at along that journey. I realized I was better at making content for my music than I was at actually making music. I knew I could have a bigger impact with my voice rather than a MIDI keyboard. So I went all in and being a creator. I made content on Instagram until I quit that for TikTok. I grew my following to around 40,000, then pretty much quit that to make content on YouTube. And while I'm not a full-time YouTuber yet, I finally got this channel monetized earlier this year. However, I understand that YouTube won't last forever. There might be a new platform that comes out of nowhere and starts paying creators more. So I have to be willing to quit YouTube and jump on there because my all-time goal is to make a living from my creativity. Platforms don't matter. They're just tactics to get there. So it doesn't really matter to me which one I use to achieve my main goal. Like Seth Godin said, quitting a job is not quitting your quest to make a living or a difference or an impact. Quitting a job doesn't mean giving up. A job is just a tactic, a way to get what you really want. So you need to identify those things that are holding you back from achieving your main goal and then quit them. What you're looking for are tactics to quit, not your overall goal. So whenever most people find themselves in dips, they play it safe. They either keep following the same tactics or they think they can wait it out. However, that's not how it works. Remember, the people who make it out of these dips are some of the best in the world. Do you think they played it safe to get to where they're at? No, the reason they made it out of these dips is because they worked even harder. They took bold action. They understood that no one's gonna come save them. Because the reality is, we don't want just anyone to make it out of these dips. We want the best of the best. For example, if you need to have life-threatening surgery, do you just want any surgeon or do you want the best surgeon? Like I said, we want the best of the best and the dips create those people. That means you have to take double the action, put in double the effort. Dips don't last quite as long when you're constantly making the moves to get out of them. So if you find yourself in a dip, it's time to up your game. You have to embrace how difficult it is because most people won't. They're slowly making moves or they're not making any moves at all. So this is your opportunity to pull ahead and become the best in the world. The dip is gonna be one of the hardest challenges you're ever gonna face. And as you know, it's supposed to be. It's set up that way to keep average people out because we don't wanna reward average people for average work. We wanna reward the people who actually had the courage to fight their way out. The number one draft pick gets the biggest contract. The number one student gets the best job opportunities. 
the best song gets the most exposure. We reward number one. So you have to keep that in mind when you're facing a dip. Remind yourself what's at the end of the tunnel. What's the reward? You have to get out of that short-term thinking because all that's there is pain. Again, like David Goggins said, many dreams die while suffering. So you have to think long-term. What's life gonna be like on the other side of that dip? And then you need to amplify those benefits because that will help you get over the fear, the doubt, and the loneliness. You have to understand that anything worth pursuing has a dip. So make sure you choose something you can be the best in the world at. And the good news is there are more opportunities to win. For example, you could be the best country rap singer in your town because there's no longer this one big market. Now there's a bunch of smaller markets everywhere and you can even create your own. However, that doesn't mean it's gonna be easy. You still have to put in double the effort to make it out of that dip. But if you're up for it, the challenge is there. And I promise you'll be rewarded if you make it out of that dip.